Oh my god. Okay, we are about to head down to thoughts. Um, how to watch a movie properly panel. <laughs> I don't know how to watch a movie. Whatever the, whatever the hell that means. Um, <laughs> We we we've, we've apparently been watching movies wrong all, all like all, all all these all these years, and uh, we're 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 about to be taught by 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 a movie expert. Didn't he grad, Didn't he have a major in like film or something? Yeah, I think he studied in college yeah. in, for a film class. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and so. Now I want to know how to learn how to watch movies properly now. Yeah. I, when I was thinking, wait, uh, uh, wait, is it, is it, which room is it in? It's in Deep Dish. Okay, we, we can actually take this down to lower level, actually. So okay. We're taking two L's. Two L's, L, L, L. Here, take an L. You, you, and you, 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 you lose, lose. Instead of lose, you lose, lose. Lose, lose. L L L L L <laughs> Oh, are you renaming the girl from Owl House incorrectly again? Calling her no, 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 that was, that was Zan. Oh, yeah, it was Zan. Luz. Like, yeah. ah! Like, it's Luz. Good day, sir. <laughs> you, you lose. <laughs> you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. <laughs> I have no idea how many people I've talked to. It's like, oh, yeah, I love I love Luz. I'm like, no, no that's not her. That's not how you say her. Loose. That's not <laughs> Like what? Like, like, like and the chlorine. It smells like chlorine in here. <laughs> oh, it's a pool. Well, I that <laughs> it reeks of chlorine down here. It reeks. Yep. It's cold in here, yo. It's freezing. It's icy cold in here. Jeez. I'm I'm free. Air. It's only fifty cents. I'm 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 freezing. <laughs> I forgot my hat. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm legitimately really cold in here. It's not anticipating being this cold. Pretty sure I am. But <laughs> we're waiting for thought, and he's late for his own panel. Mm-hmm. When <laughs> his ghost. <laughs> oh no. Will be running. With some slight delay due to the crossing of the astral plane. <laughs> do I want to know Naomi? Do I really want to know? No, you do not. Okay. <laughs> I swear it's a free. The how to watch. Hold on, let me, let me, hold on, let, hold on a minute. Let me make sure I have to actually have the, have the title of the panel right. Hold the on. The right way. Yes, if I watch movies the right way, I thought the pen's well in the Yeah. Ellipses. The right way. The right way. Actually, the ellipses. Uh, yes. <laughs> I thought the yeah. panel, and he's late. <laughs> he's cutting into his own time. Thirty minutes worth. <laughs> you guys are late. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we are aware. We brought the spaghetti, though. <laughs> you brought the spaghetti. Okay. We got the spaghetti. That's what matters. Why do we have spaghetti? Because uh, reasons. It's a uh, you know the brownie I'm special. Howdy, howdy, I'm Bob Hensel. <laughs> Where is he? Wait, 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 wait. With a real thought, please, please stand up. Here's <laughs> Thoth. <laughs> wait, what? Yeah, wait, that's Thoth. Wait, show, wait, show. <laughs> His ghost. This is ghost. And this is going on Twitter oh, right okay. now. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how the thought appreciation makes sense. the damn hell. Where, where is... Where, where is this guy? He's late. Thoth? Yeah. Imagine, imagine running 18 different panels and being late. To late for one. Shocker, right? He's late four minutes late. This is the third one he's been four minutes late for. Today. He, what? He needs, he, he needs to stop running so many panels. He needs, I mean, it's better than last year's TrotCon, where it was, and not TrotCon, it was ThothCon. ThothCon. I, that's what he was on, like, all but 12 of the panels last year's TrotCon. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. Come on, don't, 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 don't leave on account of me. Wait, <laughs> wait. So, Roth Benzwell, I'm r running out of spell components. His ghost will be running with the such like due to the crossing of the astral plane. The how to watch movies the right way in deep things. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? I don't know. Where to find him? I'm gonna give him a red card just for being late. It's his. It's his panel. Oh, you. <laughs> five. You stop moving right now. You're coming with me, Buster. I have a panel to go. To. Yes. I'm here. <laughs> I'm about to provide this panel on you. I have Buster. a panel to go to. <laughs> Trouble. Uh, you, you, your panel. You tell me. Right. We, we found him. Listen. <laughs> Listen, man. Tabletop gaming. One Listen. standard D twenty. If he does not roll higher than ten three times, he is officially dead. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't catch most of that, but please kill me. <laughs> I'm not going to roll dice. I'm not, I'm not, this oh. does not happen to you. <laughs> thoughts, thoughts, okay. thoughts, just for, thoughts, just for being late. Just That's a success. Okay. Th that's a fail. Okay. Okay, that's a fail. Can I die? That's a success. Okay. <laughs> How many times are you going to do this? God damn it! <laughs> Yeah. Hey. We're off to a good start. I didn't know this was part of the panel today. I made it! Deep dish pizza takes a long time. I don't know. Okay. 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 All right, fair. Uh, you see, thank you. All right. So, how are we all doing tonight? Woo! Okay, follow up question. Why are you here for a Thought Penswell panel? Woo! Because of reasons. Oh, I, I was promised I don't know how to watch movies yeah. properly. Uh, because see. we don't know, apparently. Yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe we do know when we're trying to find out how. Oh, really okay. not. <laughs> I just need 18 more. I just need I really. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. He's actually pretty good at his stuff. Boy, usually I have a bunch of other talented people sitting beside me. Now it's just me. <laughs> That's new. You want a mirror to make you feel less uncomfortable? Oh, thank you. <laughs> All righty. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. Oh, yay. All right. Dude, you can't take it. Is it? <laughs> Are you guys just going to read everything? Hold on. I'm taking this off now so you don't read everything on my computer. Hold on. You, you can't. No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. No, there's a folder that'll say everything. It'll get Chromecast. You came for a, for a third. It was originally a 60 minute class. Now it's 30 minutes. So we'll make it work. Let's see here. Actually, it's 22 minutes now. Oh, well, right, yeah. Open, it, that blame blame, uh, blame Giordano's on that. <laughs> I love Giordano's, by the way. That, that's, yeah, it's good. Cool. Cool. It's cool. Let totally me see worth. here. Hey, how about this interconnect, internet connection here? Yay. Woo. Woo. It sucks. It's, 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 it's terrible. Yeah, exactly. The, uh, the experiences that we had at Equestria's Next Top Artist. Yeah. Welcome to Technical Difficulties, the yeah. panel. <laughs> yeah, hey, listen, we made it work. It worked. Yeah. It works. Awesome. And it just begs the question, has anything started on time this weekend? Uh, when <laughs> Does anything start on time in conventions, period? Uh, well, 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 they try. They try. Look, if it starts on time, okay. something's going horribly wrong. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, well, no, exactly. no I, I don't think that's how that works. I think it's something's going on if it doesn't start on time. That's usually how I might think about it. What? Oh, I heard that. Yeah, thank you. I like when the internet doesn't work. That's great for a panel. Can we get Ethernet down here, please? Yeah. Land internet. Land. I love land. 
Yeah. Well, honestly, data is not much better. Oh, wait, you want to tell us what you're talking about? really not. not about about here. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, you know what? While, while, I'm, while I'm sorting not, this out, we're stuck on SOS open, open, <laughs> open, uh, open thought pens while Q&A. What questions have you ever wanted to ask some jerk <laughs> from New Jersey? What do you want to ask? What's New Jersey like? Um, we get the worst of every season. It's, <laughs> when it's in the winter, it's really cold. I beg cold. to differ. Uh, and well, I'm from New Jersey, so I say no. I disagree. You have not experienced the winter until you've experienced the Chicago winter. Ah, uh, fair. That's fair. Uh, we do get the snow. weather that Buffalo gets, where they get uh, 20, what, inches of snow, oh, four or five yeah. feet. That's fun. Oh, yeah, and it also gets around here, it also gets down to at least yeah. just sometimes minus 20 wind chills. That's multiple true. Multiple times per winter. That's so, fair. Winnie City. Yeah, right? We hit that for the river. Okay, this is a test worker. That was wrong. Cool. When was the that, first time you pumped your own gas? Fun. Like, it no, is no, no, not. I was always trying to get a test worker. I'm going to help with your charisma. Oh, my charisma. Vaya! We're talking about things that aren't real. <laughs> Talk about that a little bit in this panel, if it loads, if the panel loads. Come on, let's go. Before or after the patch to the movie? Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll tell you this, mm. you don't know hell on earth until you have to work as an usher during Avengers Endgame premiere weekend. Uh, hey. See, my, mine was uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. That was right before the pandemic hit. That uh, was the last big movie that it, happened. It was, yeah. yeah. So we would have just, that. those were the worst ones. Those were worse than any Disney movie that I worked. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog was the worst, like, like messes. Uh, like Endgame and then Frozen 2 for me. <laughs> I, I started working for Frozen 2 and uh, and that was that was a fun time. Hold on. Let me see here. Hi. The offer to use my personal hotspot. I was gonna so say open. I may need to take that offer unless uh, alright. Give me that hotspot. That would be lovely right about now. Final answer? Using the option of phone a friend. Uh, phoning a friend, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do we got? Uh, feel, feel free, yeah. Do you prefer digital projection or 35 minutes? Oh, it's okay. I mean, boop. All right, look, wait First. for a second. There we go. And then I won't no, connect automatic. I will connect to connect your red cards connection. Please whenever. don't. I will. I will. I will turn it off. No. <laughs> He'll turn off my panel. Why is my internet bill this, a thousand no. dollars? No. <laughs> I'm using all of red cards data. There we go. All right. We're cooking with gas. Yay. And only about what? 15, 20 minutes left to do anything in this. We've got it. Speed run it. Oh, okay. Speed run it. Speed run it. Speed run, Speed the run panel. it. All right, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Just, 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 just whiz through it. Yeah. Uh, let's not use that word for it. Oh. <laughs> let's go. Oh. <laughs> so uh, this is how to watch movies the right way. As you can see, there's a wrong way to watch them and the right way to watch them. What's the wrong way? What's the right way? I'm going to tell you a little about it right here. So I have this which means I have the power in the room right now. <laughs> no one else can talk. No one else can talk. No, it's okay. So. Is it also for, for you to whack, whack us with? Yeah, yes, exactly. <laughs> or just me, or the microphone. So, this was originally in the description of 60 minute film school. Now it's a 30 minute, because it was down to 30 minutes. It's actually maybe 15 now. And then we were waiting now. for Giordano's pizza. So now it's about 15 or 20. We'll make it work. Anyway. It's a 30 minute film school. So I'm gonna run through some of the basics here. The first being the Kuleshov effect. What's the Kuleshov effect? That's when you have imagery in editing that conveys emotions. And like that, as you can see right there, sad, hunger, desire. And with that, that is going to be how we're going to run this today because I only have, in my original rehearsal it was 30 minutes. Now it's 15 or 20 minutes to get through it. I will react to different images. I will be very vocal about my appreciation or disdain for different things in this slideshow. But we're gonna talk about movies. So, with that being said, you think that guy, the guy Kuleshov, do you think he thought his final destiny would be mentioned in a pony panel? No. <laughs> no. I think, he'd be, I think he'd be proud if he knew about that. But he's in the ground, six feet down. Anyway, let's talk about movies. 
So, I once had a guy at so, the Pony Meetup tell me they don't make good movies anymore, they only make sequels, remakes, and reboots. As you can clearly see, I cited that right there. Some, some guy, guy Pony Meetup Meet 2019. 2019. <laughs> some people may know. And our immediate response, me and my co-org of Bronies NYC meetups was, they're still making good movies, you're just not, not watching, watching them. them. <laughs> and, <laughs> before, and, before, and you're probably thinking right now, oh, he's good. The, f the film major is gonna show me 10 movies that I have no idea about that came out this year and tell me to watch them, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. These are 10 movies that came out this year that I think are all excellent pieces of cinema, and I can guarantee that you didn't get a trailer for any of them before the Super Mario Brothers movie. Aww. And that's no disrespect to anybody who liked it, but the thing about it is that you're not being actively advertised to the really good pieces of movies that aren't remakes, reboots, or sequels. So I would recommend any of those. Uh, viewer discretion is advised. That'll be a lot of them here because I watch a lot of weird stuff. I was gonna say another word, but I remembered this is still during daytime hours. I don't see any children here. So, uh, oh, there's one child. <laughs> Vintage Rainbow Dash shirt right now. <laughs> so, there's some 10 movies right there, and it gives you a bit of an idea of my taste. I see some people taking photos. Good. Put them on a watch list. Anyway, this is, uh, why should you listen to me? That's my college degree right there. Uh, they printed it just like that. They gave it to me in that way. Uh, those are my real president and chair, by the way. I went to Montclair State in New Jersey. I got a film major. As a uh, Gobi Raptor put it, I am a sad, sad film major. And uh, that doesn't get you many jobs, but it gets you a panel like this. So, if you want to run a panel like this, become a film major, spend tens of thousands of dollars, and get no job. It's a living. So, yeah, worth every penny. Exactly, worth every penny. So, the question you're probably all wondering as I talk about this is, how do I find good movies that I may want to see? The answer to that? Keep track of the releases that interest you. The fact that it's in green tells you that that's an important point. Write it down in your notebooks right now. <laughs> you may ask next, how do I keep track of the releases that are important to me? The answer to that is pretty simple. You use the computer. <laughs> You use the computer. We have technology. Oh, by the way, that's a picture of me working on this panel. What? Uh, you know, again, it's a living. Uh, you can smell this image right here. Anyway. How old is this image? Uh, John Candy with a mustache. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I'm a looker. I'm definitely a looker. So you're probably wondering, oh, I should look on the internet. Where should I look? Rotten Tomatoes, right? Oh, boy. You've heard a lot about Rotten Tomatoes. I'm hearing no's. No. I like you guys. Uh, my answer to that is no. You do not look on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, I don't like Rotten Tomatoes. I think uh, I think it's really susceptible to what they call now review bombing. That's a part of that's a part of consuming uh, media now is review bombing. Just dropping one star reviews on a thing you didn't watch because something about it didn't align with your worldviews. I hate it. You're not engaging with the piece of media, and some of these people don't even watch it. It's just to do that. Uh, and I also think Rotten Tomatoes is generally inaccurate. Uh, yes, you will see yes. some reviews out there from accredited critics who are giving it two out of five, and then they'll get a nice big red tomato next to it. I'm not, I also think it's a bit of an issue that it's owned by Warner Brothers. Uh, I think that's a little bit of a conflict of interest, but that's a whole other thing. I don't want to get sued, especially in this panel, especially in only 20 minutes. So I say no to Rotten Tomatoes. It's a good way to gauge what you might be interested in, but whenever I say to someone, hey, check this out, and they go, oh, well, Rotten Tomatoes gave it, they didn't give it anything, it's an aggregate. It's yes. collecting different critic reviews and collecting that and putting, yeah. this is generally liked. Uh, also, there's different things where people would be like, oh, well, the critics and the audience are dip Make up your own decisions, curate your own taste, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Next, another one you might suggest to me is IMDb. IMDb. No, <laughs> we're not looking at IMDb. Again, similar issues. In fact, I think it's worse on IMDb. Uh, by the way, I haven't watched the Lord of the Rings series or Miss Marvel, but these are good examples because these are shows that 
inspire these reactions. So yeah, I don't like IMDb. I don't like Rotten Tomatoes. It's great if you do. I'm just not gonna talk to you. So, <laughs> I had a friend told me once we're, that IMDb stands for is massive douchebag. <laughs> and that broke our content rating for the panel. So uh, what I would first recommend is firstshowing.net. If you've never heard of firstshowing.net, they list all of the releases for the whole year, every weekend. Different formats, if it's in theaters, if it's going right to streaming, you get a full list. Like for example, uh, this weekend, you've got Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, and you get a, a David Lynch and Wizard of Oz documentary. It gives you everything that releases every week or re-releases. It gives you a full spectrum of what's coming out. So if you click on any of those on any date, Typically, it will let you know and inform you, hey, are there movies coming out this weekend I may want to see? Finding a movie theater that's playing it is a whole other thing because movie theaters are dying, but you know, that's a great thing to think about with my medium. Anyway, next, letterbox.com. You might have heard of it. Okay, I saw some reactions from people and I'm with my crowd here. I like it. So, letterbox.com, is a great site where you can access other people's opinions on movies. It's a little bit better than IMDb or Rotten Tomatoes. It's not perfect. You'll still get review bombing. You'll still get people that will drop a one-star review and just say, this happened to my friend Greg once under Joker. I don't know why, <laughs> but that happens. But I think it's really reliable. It allows you to interact and kind of gauge other people's like interests in film. Uh, you can also do things like make watch lists, so you don't need to write them down. I know people like Lock Rock, for example, before I introduced him to this site, he would put it in a Word document. Now, there's a database that you could pop it in that little add a film thing right there. Hold on, I have a stick for this. Here we go. Right there. You can make an account here, and you can add to a full list and have a full thing that you can go to, like, what movies do I want to watch? What do I have sitting that I'm like, oh, that looks interesting. This is good for that. You can also make lists. You can make, uh, like, up here, these are some of my lists I've made. Uh, spoilers, I guess. Uh, I've logged every single movie that I've watched during the pandemic since the beginning of 2020. I know, I have no life, but <laughs> yeah, great. You can make your own lists full of movies. You could go up to a thousand of them, and then after that, you make a part two. It's just yeah. like any other franchise film. So you can also make a diary. You can log every single thing you watch every single day. Uh, other than Twitter, uh, oh, hey, by the way, I run the TropCon Twitter. Uh, I didn't get to say that at the start, but this is probably my most used social media just because I get to talk about movies, and then maybe one person likes it. So that's cool. That's that's affirming. That's affirming. So let's see. That's my address right there. If you want to follow it, uh, you get to list your own uh, top four movies, the things you've seen lately. It's a really neat website. I suggest anybody use it if you're really, really passionate about following what you're watching uh, or if you have no life like me. But anyways, we're done plugging Letterbox. Next up. Where can I go to watch movies? Uh, what are your answers out there? Where do you go to watch movies? Movie theater. Sure. Uh, I mean, yeah, you could. <laughs> <laughs> but they're dying. But we're gonna go over it a little bit That's because uh, it is in Milwaukee. <laughs> is it really? Uh, Wait yes. a minute. So, let's go over them a little bit. We'll do a rapid fire here. Like I said, remember back, cool shot effect. Oh look, the cool guys are here. Regal Cinemas. Uh, most of them are closing, like the one in the image right there. Uh, I've been to one once, they're pretty okay. Next, AMC. Uh, they're the last choice you'd ever make because they're kind of sticky and they're kind of gross. Or if you want to see Nicole Kidman for a couple minutes before your movie, which is nice. You gotta visit her sometimes. Well, Cinemark, which I worked at and someone in the audience here worked at Cinemark, is okay. Uh, I don't have much to say about it other than it's okay. What I do have a lot to say about is Alamo Draft House because I think they put together the best theater going experience around. Uh, curated pre shows, you don't have to watch 30 minutes of ads or Maria Menunos before every movie. Uh, you get to see things that really pertain to you. Restaurant quality food, not just popcorn and candy, which I know people like, but you can also get like a steakhouse burger here, which is pretty neat. 
boozy and milkshakes. Yes, boozy milkshakes. And they throw out the kids who are loud. And they throw out the kids that are loud. Or anybody. <laughs> yep, they throw out anybody that are loud. It's true. There is a it. no talking, no texting policy, and they will kick you out yep. if you violate it. Which is pretty cool. Uh, they're kind of um, Texas. They're attraction Texas. theaters. There's one in Minneapolis. There is one in Minneapolis, and there is one that just opened here in Chicago. Oh, wow. Oh, really? Why if do you have two choices? In the city or in the It's right down the street, like uh, stone's throw away from Wrigley Field. So wow. there's some homework for you after this. Go to an Alamo Draft House. It's, it's a fun time. I highly recommend it. So... Where else can I watch movies and not have to specialize and listen to the ASMR of popcorn chewing behind me? Well, the answer to that is this big web of things. Streaming services. Um, whichever ones you want to buy. It's kind of just becoming cable now. Why is MLB TV on there? I was going to say, I think half of these are dead or consolidated now, which is really fun. But I'm going to go through some streaming services real quick. NBC News? Netflix. <laughs> if, you did, right, if, you want, if you like animation and you like your shows to get finished, I wouldn't go with Netflix. If you like Stranger Things, then that's your place to go to. But other than that, uh, another place where... It's, it's just like Max. Animation, it's Max. Is this Max? Everyone just did. Do I even need to say anything? <laughs> the audience said it for me. The HBO um, should be gone it's now. It's just, yeah, right? This doesn't exist now. It's just Max. Which is ironic because they have the minimum amount of content. Hey. Uh, let's see. Disney Plus. If you want to pledge allegiance to this one company and all those things underneath it, and pr if you like properties, you can go to Disney Plus. I don't blame you. Uh, there, there's one more that I need to talk about, though. Uh-oh. We need to talk <laughs> about this. Pirating. I pirating. I have three notes. I have, I, I have three notes about the P-word. Uh, first and foremost, I think most of the time, piracy is used as a way to taste test something. It's a way that someone will go into the piece of content and they'll go, is this for me? Do I want to invest in this? My time, my money, whatever. And eventually, they'll put their money down on it. Case in point, I guarantee all of you at least once have watched a My Little Pony episode from a not official channel. What? YouTube, <laughs> Wise. right? Wise. <laughs> yeah, see, exactly. I've got all of you pinned here. So, you know, much, right? My second point that I want to make about it is I think that for some shows, like on Netflix or HBO Max, or just Max, Max now. Just Max, Max. it's Max. Whatever, Max. whatever David Zaslav wants to call it now, all right? <laughs> whatever he wants to make the AI say. Whatever it is, there are some shows like Infinity Train, for example. You cannot, thank you. For some shows, you cannot legally purchase these and watch them anymore, and the only way to archive them to steal it. It is to steal it, yes. To a point where some people, some creators have outright just said, yeah, the only way you can watch my show is to steal it now. Hell yeah. So, exactly. And the third point I want to make is I'm going to quote a guy you might know. Abraham His name's Gabe Newell. I want to quote, piracy is almost always a service problem and not a pricing problem. The key to beating the pirates is to provide a better service than the pirates can provide to them. The answer to that, they made steam. Yep. Which, if you want to reliably play with your friends online and get the best experience and catalog all your games, you're going to go on Steam, and you're not going to pirate them. So, it's the key thing is to provide the better service than the pirates. And right now, with the way streaming is spread all about, and movie theaters are closing, piracy looks kind of better than the other options. Yeah. Right now. I'm not endorsing it. I am. I need. <laughs> Saber! Oh, Yorg! I didn't say that. Saber Sparks said it. But allegedly. I, allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. So I'm not, I'm not endorsing it, but I want you to understand why people do it. Moving on. We're going to get off that before I get sued. So, this is homework for you all. There is homework for this panel. No, don't worry. It's fun. I promise. Unless you don't, don't want to do it, fun. which, whatever. The homework for you is Thoth's 10 important films of the last 10-ish years. I say 10-ish because it's a little bit more than that because I couldn't decide. 
and 10 years felt a little too restrictive. So, up here, Star Wars. yeah, right, all Star Wars movies, yeah. These are 10 what I think are excellent films of the last 10 years that you could take photos of them. I think these are all really excellent pieces of film that really embody the art form of the last 10, 15 years. Uh, you can take out. photos of it. Uh, I would run through all of them one at a time, but what's the time right now, everyone? Yes, you're, you're I'm over time. All right. You can take photos of them, and we could talk about it after this panel. But these are 10 great films. Uh, viewer discretion is advised on all of them. Uh, look up the ratings before, because I'm not getting in trouble if you guys see a movie and there's something you don't like in it. Your assignment for this is to watch one of these 10 movies, or all of them, or just some of them if you want to. And at the next con that you see this jerk right here, uh, <laughs> feel free to tell me what you thought about it, if you loved it, if you hated it, if you had a really violently positive or negative experience <laughs> with it. Uh, if you want to throw a tomato at me, go for it, as long as it's not a rotten one. A rotten one. tomato! <laughs> no, no, see, I, I caught you on that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me know uh, how you felt about any of these. Pick one of them, look them all up, write them down on a list, take a photo, I don't know, put it on TikTok. I don't know, I don't oh, look at TikTok Who uses anymore. TikTok nowadays, I, I don't man. use it. I don't use it. I just watch three-hour movies instead of watching six-second videos, you know. But, anywho, that's the ten movies that I think are really important. They're not the best movies of the last ten years, but I think they're the most important. And with that being said, uh, any questions for me today? Uh, okay, there's multiple. All right, there's one here. Uh, Oppenheimer or Barbie? Both. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see them the same day. <laughs> uh, at least I'll try to. AC, back there. I just noticed that Zootopia okay. wasn't on your... <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, I thought it would be taken as a given that I've watched it ten times and will watch it ten times more. Yeah. Also, I just want to say, AC, I love low-budget TV. Uh, no problem. Uh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I got another question here. John Hurts, a longtime fan or a recent comer to this work? Uh, longtime fan. Uh, I love Rejected, okay. and I love uh, I love World of Tomorrow as well. All really great stuff. If you guys never saw, if you guys aren't familiar, uh, I'll run back a little bit here. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's such a beautiful day. That's made by the same guy that made the Ponies the Anthology clip. I uh, well made the original thing. Uh, you know the one that goes, my anus is bleeding. <laughs> he made a full movie. And it's great, and it's heartbreaking. It's about a guy's brain falling apart, so that's pretty good. And on, on that bright note, uh, any more questions that you guys have? Yes, there's another question. What are, you, what are your thoughts about, like, things like the MCU, like cinematic universes, Ooh. like movies that tie themselves together? Right. I think it's a really neat thing. I'm not one of those people who's like, ugh, turned my nose up. Um, I'm feeling a little bit of fatigue from it. I think taking breaks from it is good. I'm going to see Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, though, because I love James Gunn. But uh, in moderation, I, I, I can watch them, and I don't blame anyone for loving them, because I, I, I love Martin Scorsese, and I understand what he's saying when he talked, to, because for anyone who doesn't know, it's the whole thing of him calling MCU films amusement park rides. I get the spirit of what he's saying, but... They're still movies. They're all cinema. I think they all count as film. Yeah. Uh, and if you enjoy it, then I'm not going to look down upon anybody for that. Unless you like Uwe Boll films, then, uh, <laughs> then he, he, can, he can fight me in a box. To catch up there. So uh, any more questions that y'all have? And, if, and uh, kind of what he was saying, if you're looking for an alternative to cinematic universes, there is also, uh, if you're into Godzilla, there's the Monsterverse. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I, I will say I am biased. I grew up with Godzilla from like the age of five, renting it from the local video store. So I am biased in that regard. <laughs> but... That's a fun one. Yes. And I just love giant monsters tearing things apart. So, uh, <laughs> you can quote me on that on your YouTube. Right? Uh, any more questions? I see, yes, save it. If Disney could remake a Scorsese film, what would it be? <laughs> <laughs> I want uh, I want Goodfellas remade with all the Disney princes. Oh my God. Oh, that. Let's make that movie. <laughs> I like that. Get on it, Bob Iger. Bob, Bob Iger. <laughs> Good. Yes, one more question. All right. Uh, you know that they have a blockbuster that you can rent out and, and everything. Yes. Is that bad? Do you want to do that? 
I would like to, uh, I, this is a hot take, Blockbuster kind of hurt a lot of video rent, like local video rentals when back in the day. Um, a lot of the nostalgia is definitely from the iconography from it though. Uh, I don't blame anybody for being nostalgic for it though. There are some people who are violently like F dash 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 Blockbuster. For me, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of childhood memories there. A lot of great movies rented from it. I rented like Robocop and Predator when I was far too young. Probably, uh, <laughs> how but, young? Uh, listen. How young uh, are we talking here? Uh, like six years old. Oh no. Listen, my mother said, my mother told me as long as I didn't repeat the language in it, I could watch it. <laughs> And that's how I watched RoboCop at seven years old. Oh. And on that note, uh, this has been uh, How to Watch Movies the Right Way with uh, <laughs> Penswell. I hope you learned something today. Did any of you learn anything today? Yeah. Yay. All right, hopefully I gave you some film reference. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hopefully I gave you some great film recommendations. And otherwise, I hope I was... Uh, Hope I was entertaining and no. No? You said no. Okay. Oh, oh, keyframe. Hi. I'll get out of here, I promise. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Am I about to get suplexed? Hi. Uh, thank, you. thank you. I ran my own. Drag him out. Are you proud of me? Yes, I'm very proud of you. Okay. I'm very cringe, but thank you. <laughs> oh, don't no. No, 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 no. no, no. no, no. <laughs> Please. That's my weapon of power. <laughs> All right, is your panel next? Yes, I'm doing Smash Request to Big Club. Ooh, okay. This is more high class uh, entertainment for you tonight. So, thank you so much for coming. I hope you had a great time. Go watch those movies, tell me what you think, and uh, I'll get out of here before Cosmic Keyframe kills me. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. So, by Harmony Con? Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're just, we're crawling through Slowly this. There. If we keep at the same pace. <sighs> Man, you can just play them at double speed. Yeah, good. Did we? No, we, 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 we missed the experience. So we're going. Um, we we, we, uh, we just sat in on um, uh, thoughts. Uh, how to watch watch movies the right the movies the right way panel? Is that what it was called? I thought was gonna trash trash Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb. Oh, yeah. I am DB. Did you say I am DD? I am DB. I am. I am. I am. <laughs> Portillo's, Portinos. <laughs> put me out of my <laughs> So yeah, we're 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 gonna rest up a little bit before um, our uh, my uh, the, our match game panel, um, which is in about down two hours and fifteen minutes. Pharaoh, it's Jack Sparrow. So, so we, so I, so, so I, we, we just learned that Saber is, is on the bar. Uh, it is apparently drunk now. Well, I, I wouldn't say he was drunk. I just, I saw him drinking, and he's very. Well, what, well, well, he, well, he's going to be drunk by the time, by the time the my little match game, and I'm scared. I'm excited for match game. I mean, I, 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 I mean, I, I've seen, I mean, I mean, I've now seen Saber sober. <laughs> See. Saber sober. See, but, but, but now, but, but now, but now, drunk Saber is. It does, the prospect of it just scares me. Something to look forward to for the event tonight. <laughs> Why did you have to pause there? You just paused it. The most awkward. Moment. Why? Why pause at that scene? <laughs> what is even happening? Oh God. Oh, there goes the, there goes the, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. You see why I like this show? <laughs> the weirdest faces. What's powering that frisbee magic? Until I get that miraculous. <laughs> okay, Hawk Moth. <laughs> that was a Granny Smith apple. Do you blend a whole apple? No! No, because there's seeds in there! How can it, a smoothie be too smooth? You blended it too much. So it is 10.32 right now. We're on our way down to get set up for the My Little Match game. Match game, match game, match game. As we play the star-studded match, match game. game.
Yeah. We're going for help. Hi. Hey, hey. what's up, gamer? Uh, <laughs> Where are you guys going? Uh, we're, 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 we're on our way to the host a panel called My Little Match Game. Wow. It's uh, in the uh, Mustard, Mustard Mark. Mark. Mustard Mark. I'm going to anthology. Oh, oh I'm going to anthology. Yay! <laughs> Woo! All right, let's go. We're going. This, this is, is the us. Floor. This is the floor. We're going. Oh. I have to leave up there. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. My brain is pretty much fried <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh, 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 oh boy. <laughs> well, that was the most intense match game we ever had. Taylor asked me to be on this panel. Yeah. I just got banned. But he didn't force you to say what you said on the panel, did he? Okay, fuck it. This is, okay, I'm, I'm definitely <laughs> editing, the, the, editing that part of that because, because it's not oh, part of the main panel oh, yeah. video. So he has, wait, he has a community guest badge now. Community That's guest uh, brings in a moonbeam. Community That's guest doer! Uh, yeah, Give it to him. To say one nice thing about me. Oh. Don't say anything about his hat. I'm very don't upset it's taking it. this long. Don't say anything about his hat. Stay quiet. That's the only safe answer. <laughs> come on, come on. You're, you're struggling you're, to think of something. You're pushing right. me to the brink. Yay! Yay! Dewey, you're a f***ing delight, and I love you so much, and I'm glad we're That's friends. That's a f***ing lie. Yeah. It is not a f***ing lie. Dewey yeah. and I are really good friends, and I really appreciate his presence in my life. Aww. How much of a delight. A f***ing yeah, delight. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> That's Oh no. Oh boy. What the hell do I do? Yeah, that's the rules. That moves the private kitty furry. Oh my god. Yes. How how did I get missed? Are we are we We're being kicked out. Okay. Oh we are. They're kicking us out. Kicking us out. Oh boy. I'm right. Oh my god. Just do it with my job. Of course. He was like, oh, you have two That's a good question. That's not a nice way to describe it. You know, whatever. Matty is not Dewey's track. Oh, well. I'd say we're done tonight. That's not a nice thing to say about Oh, for. Uh, Gobi. I thought I told yeah. them not safe for work stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, that's all uh, not safe for work stuff in the back? Oh, God. Dear God. I was not expecting that from Gobi tonight. No. Oh, my God. You signed up for it, you knew what you are getting into. I, I was, okay, I was, technically, I was voluntold, so. Okay, okay. okay, this officially beat it, Babs. Oh, definitely, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. By a long shot. Oh, yeah. I'm a little sorry, Taylor. Everything Saber Spark is saying. <laughs> I was expecting craziness from the both of them, but not that level. <laughs> right. He's had a lot. <laughs> and I, honestly, I've, 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 I've taken a lot from people tonight. <laughs> I take a lot of heat as well. No, 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 no. no. You, you, you don't, you don't understand. It's it like, like I've never taken this much in one weekend from any, from, 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 from like, at all, really. It, 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 it's, it, it's just, it, it's, it's, it's. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm not. I'm not upset by it. It's just. Oh, 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 over it, it's it's overwhelming. <laughs> In a good way, though. At least. I, I'm, I just, I'm just wasn't expecting it, though. I gotta say, for my first Winnie City, this was a uh, good impression. <laughs> yep. I'm glad you could come out to match game tonight. Oh, oh my yeah. god. Ah. Uh, son of a. Ding dong. T R E S H 
You know, you're not helping me. I'm not even trying to sing on key right now. I'm just trying to vibe with the music. <laughs> this entire song is a health hazard. She's unicycling. I don't care. This is... <laughs> She's dumpster diving into garbage. I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm so divided on this. I'm j I'm I'm I'm, 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 I'm so I'm so t I'm so split on this song. Can you remember this? <laughs> what the more? Why the bass crack you up so much? It's. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds in my car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> I installed the freaking subwoofer, and it's just like <laughs> it just goes. It's it goes full black. It's such an expensive audio system, and it, all I play is Frozen or Pony music. <laughs> <laughs> I spent a thousand two hundred on that system. Oh my god. And all I play is Pony or, or Frozen. <laughs> Have you considered playing anything else other than that? Sometimes, but when you have hits that good, how can you not? <laughs> like, even G4 stuff I'll still play. Oh my god. <laughs> this is dash jam footage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, the, the speakers. The, he goes, goes, freaking full blast. <laughs> <laughs>